Good morning. My name is David Judge. I'm the pastor of First Baptist Church here in Cornelius, North Carolina. Today is Thursday, April 9th. Our daily devotion today is based on the 13th station of the cross. Jesus dies on the cross. And it's based on the Gospel of Luke, chapter 23, verses 44 to 46. Before we go to that reading, though, let's go to the Lord in prayer. Gracious God, Heavenly Father, I thank you so much for this day, and I thank you for your word. Lord God and Father, let us get into your word each and every day that we might come to know you better. Send your Holy Spirit upon us, Lord, that we would better understand and put the hope of your Son, Jesus Christ, in all of our hearts, that we might be with you forever. In Jesus, I pray. Amen. All right, let's go to our reading. Again, this is Luke 23, verses 44 to 46. It was now about the sixth hour, and darkness came over the whole land until the ninth hour, for the sun stopped shining. And the curtain of the temple was torn in two. Jesus called out with a loud voice, Father, into your hands I commit my spirit. When he had said this, he breathed his last. Amen. So as I read this passage, it reminded me of a movie, a great movie. And if you're stuck at home looking for a movie to watch, I highly recommend A Man Called Peter. A Man Called Peter. It is the story of Pastor Peter Marshall. Back in the 1940s, he was the Senate chaplain for the United States Senate. He was also the pastor of New York Avenue uh, Presbyterian Church in Washington, D.C. It's a great movie. And in that movie, he is giving a sermon on death and he tells a story of a little boy who had a chronic illness who was going to die and the little boy asks his mother mother what is it like to die well she pulls herself together and says a prayer and the Lord gives her the answer and what she says is do you remember when you were little and you would go outside and play very hard all day you'd come inside the house and you'd lay down and you'd fall asleep She says, but then when you would wake up in the morning, you'd be in your own bed. She said, the reason that happened was while you were sleeping, your father came and picked you up and put you into your own bed where you belong. She said, death is just like that. When you close your eyes for the last time, the father will come and lift you up and take you where you belong with him in heaven. And that satisfied the little boy. and He was no longer afraid of death. And it's a great story, and it's something, as I said, I was reminded of today as we read through this passage with Jesus dying on the cross. We read in the gospel here that verse 46, he says, Father, into your hands I commit my spirit. Jesus, at this point, is hanging on the cross. He's been hanging there for six hours, suspended in the air by nails in his hands and nails on his feet. His head is wounded and bleeding from the crown of thorns. His back is lashed with from the whips and bleeding as well. He is in agony on the cross. He is apparently helpless. There's nothing that he can do. But he is not hopeless. And like the little boy in Peter Marshall's story, the Lord turns to the Father. Before he goes to sleep, he commits himself to to the Father's hands. As death approaches, Jesus knows that there's nowhere else to turn except to the Father. And when he's dead and when he's buried, the Father will come and lift him up. And the Father, like the little boy who was taken where he belongs in bed, the Father will lift up the Son, Jesus Christ, and take him where he belongs at the right hand of the Father. And this is a reminder for us that for we who commit ourselves to the Father, we too will be lifted up in death and taken where we belong to be with the Father in heaven forever. And so take heart from this passage that when we close our eyes for the last time, when we take our last breath, when our heart beats for the last time and we go into that sleep of death we go with assurance that we will wake up in the presence of the father because he will lift us up as he lifted up the lord and take us to be with him forever what a great assurance to have and i pray that you contemplate this more and more today 
Thank you for being with me today. God bless you, and I'll see you tomorrow.